Welcome all to the Weekly Outlook. Moan here from Alleyway Pro. Getting straight into the Weekly Outlook, starting with the DXY on the daily. This is getting quite complicated. I've gone over this before. I've still got this count on, but um, I'm looking at a little bit different. I'm looking at an A, an A, an A, a B, and a C in here. And then we get an A, B, C before we get the larger A, B, C. Like I've mentioned, this is very getting very difficult in here now, you know, there really isn't a clear direction. Um, the H4 was, you know, um, we sort of got three down in here. We we had five down in here. We had a larger correction and it's gone down and broken the low. So we have like one, two, three in here now. Um, on the H1, it is looking rather bullish. And I, I mean, it's it's very difficult because if you're buying this, you have to be very careful. We already have bearish divergence in between the two highs. But this may be an A, B, C in here, a flat before you get like a one, two, three, an A, B, C, or it may turn motive for you. But um, yeah, you'd be pretty much just looking for a C up and then possibly more downside, more than likely. AU. This didn't play out on the daily like I've been looking at. Um, you know, we had that nice impulse up here. We had one, two, three down. It was very deep. I was looking for at least an A, B, C. That never went. Instead, we got this A, B. And this C up here didn't go either and break that top. So neither of them were working. We, this is some sort of a larger correction in here. I'll be looking at, well, it's turning a very complex because we've got one, two, three in here. One, two, three up. So do we get one, two, three down as a triple three or five down as a three, three, five before we get the A, B, C? Well, you know, that's what I'd be looking at. Some sort of a complex correction. We either get one, two, three down in here or five. So I'll be looking for downside. Um, and you can only sell it. Um, you know, we got a nice impulse down. You wait for a correction, possibly back to the 50 fib, and then you look for a, 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 a C down, at least a C down. Or it may turn motive, or you may get five down, you know, like I just showed. But, yeah, you, I'd be looking for at least three down. You have to wait for this correction. And that may take all next week. So you've got to be patient. GU on the daily. Well, this one did... <laughs> It's not the best, but at least this one gave us that C up. You know, it didn't quite get to that 100 fib target, but I'll be looking at an A, an A, B, C in here, some sort of a larger flat before we get an A, B, C. That's what I'm looking at on the long, longer term. Don't worry about these, you know. Um, I, I, I've mentioned this before, that I've left these on here, this count, because this may have been at one, two, three, four, five in here or three up in here for this C wave as an extended wave. That's why I've left these uh, this uh, ABC on. But I just showed you more than likely what will happen. This is the A wave, ABC flat, before you get the larger C up. It's still looking rather bullish, and we do have a bull hidden in here. Um, possibly. I'm going to double-check that. Overall, we don't, but um, more than likely, this is looking corrective on the lower time frames. On the H1, we got three down. I mean, for the sell, this was our sell in here. More than likely, it would have come back out and taken you out. But we got like one, two, three in here now with bullish divergence. So um, wherever this ends, if you get a bullish... Uh, if you get a nice impulse up, well, then you can look for, you know, more upside to go and break that top until you get a nice impulse up um, and a correction, you're pretty much staying out of the market. This can still, you know, this wave C in here still may not be over, even though we have that bullish divergence. You have, you, you can't sell it. There's, there is no sell on it, you know. Um, you definitely don't want to sell when you start to see that bullish divergence.
Uh, EU, not going as planned either. Um, you know, I was looking for this. A, a B, and a C up in here. <laughs> sort of a large flat in there. It's not looking very nice. Really trading it on the lower time frames, you know. Started off nice. We had the five up. Larger correction. Um, and we got another one higher high. Um, H1. We're looking for a correction. So H1, we did get the five up, and that was fine. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we get, like, an A, a B, and a C up in here. And then, you know, you get another five up. So you'll have to be careful with buying in here because you may get a C down before you get that buy set up you're looking for. And you... Not playing nicely at all. This one as well. None of them are. We got that nice impulse up over here. I was looking at that one, two, three down and then a C up from here. That one never went. And then we got three in here. Then, you know, I was looking at one, two, three here. That wave C never went either. Instead, you know, this has turned more complex now because we have one, two, three, one, two, possibly a three up here. Uh, it's turning complex. The, the correction is turning very complex. And we're... <laughs> it's actually motive on the way down here. We got like five up and we got one, two, three. You got to wait for this wave four back to the 38.2 and then you can trade that wave five down. That's what you'd be doing. You can buy on the lower time frames, um, you know, into this correction. It's risky, but you can. Um, I'd be targeting that 38.2 if you're looking for buys, and then I'd be looking for the sell for the wave five. GY, we got the five up. Um, I've only been looking for sells for a very long time. You know, after we got the five up, we do have the bearish divergence in here. You know, everything's lining up for downside. It took a long time to get this downside, but it did happen. Um, I've been warning you about it, you know, don't buy up here. This still may be a flat. Um, I was looking at that as a B wave, an A, B, C as a possible flat before you get another one up. Um, at this stage on the H4, you'd be waiting for a correction. You'd be waiting for a correction back to the 55th possibly and then like an A, B, C. That's one scenario. If we get that, a correction, you look for the sell. The, for the buy for this flat, you really got to get down onto the lower time frames and take the first setup. If you get a bullish setup in here, well, you can look to go and break that top as, and look at this as a flat, but you got to be mindful that this may just turn correction corrective in here and you get another one down so you have to get in on the first entry this is what i teach in my group um but uh yeah at this stage you'd be looking for downside obviously you know we have a bear hidden in here so we got three up i wouldn't be surprised if it comes down breaks that low and then if you got a buy set up you could look for it get, get into your first buy um, and pretty much you'd be targeting the 38.2. Um, but, you know, you never know. This may be the low of that flat and it takes off on you, you know. So there's two scenarios there. G, uh, UY, it's very similar, you know. This still can be an A, a B and a C in here for a flat and you get another one up. We sort of have one, two, three up in here, uh, maybe four, and I'd get a fifth one up. But we, um, you know, overall, we had this impulse down here. I was looking at all this as a B wave, and we get a C down in here as a larger flat before we get like an A, B, C. So looking for downside, but again, you have to be careful with this because this can be a flat like GY. And, and go up and break the, the top. And I'm not really going to go into it much more than that because I've gone over it on GY. They're very similar. 
the the H4 is a cell. The way I teach to trade, this is a cell. If this is corrected, we definitely look for that cell. But if this is a flat, um, you've got to get in on that first entry on the lower time frames. UCAD's finally gone. You know, like, th this has been looking bullish, and I've been mentioning it for a long time. You know, we went over this correction in here. Um, oh, on the H4. Um, but this is, I was looking for that wave Z up here. It never went. Instead, we're getting this long, drawn out correction. So we're really only going down onto the lower time frames, looking for a direction. And we sort of got one, two, three, four. Looking for a fifth one up in here. If it goes, hopefully it goes and breaks that top and overall we start to get that bearish divergence in. Because this is a high, that hot top still hasn't been broken. We never got that wave set up. I've gone over this before. We got this 333 complex correction in here, completing the whole structure um, for upside. And that's exactly what's happened. Um, you know, if you follow me, we've got that one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we got a 333 complex correction. We got a nice impulse up. This was a buy in our group. Um, uh, we were looking for a buy in here. That one never went um, and it come down, break the low. But on the lower time frames, then we got this in here. Um, I'll quickly show you. <laughs> But, uh, and I'm not going to go into it too much. I'm not going to show you how we actually trade, you know, um, what we look for. But we got a lower low. We got a, a, a nice impulse up. This was our buy here. I showed this in the room. This was the buy here. Um, you're not looking to buy, uh, you know, up the top. You know? um, yeah. All right. Well, you can even see I was looking for the buy here on Friday <laughs> in the group, you know, and that's finished now. So we got like one, two, three up in here, one, two, get a third one down in here, and that may be a flat for another one up. But, you know, uh, yeah, you're scalping up the top. That's all you're doing at this level. Um, the Swiss is playing out really nicely. You know, ever since we got this, if you follow me, ever since we got that impulse up, I've been looking for a B wave and then I look to load up. Well, now we've got like one, two, three, four, five in here. We are getting bullish divergence. Bullish divergence, bullish divergence is forming on the daily. So, you know, it's all starting to line up. We do have the five down in here on the H4. We got the five down. We're actually looking for this as well, you know, we had a bear hidden in here, and I think I did two years last week. You know, last uh, to be careful because this can be a bear hidden and go and break the low, and that's exactly what it's done. We we're actually looking for this. Um, you know, that's what it's done. Now we're looking for buys. If you get any buy set up, you can look for the buy. <laughs> I teach people to get in on the first entry. Um, and yeah, I'm in this. You got a bad entry above that top, but <laughs> I wouldn't be getting into it now uh, because this is looking rather corrective. We may get another one down in here yet to finish off that wave Z. You know, but any buy setup you get, I'd be looking for the buy. We have the five down on the H4, so start looking for buys. E.g., you know. This is coming together. We've got that A, B, extended wave C, like I've mentioned many times. You know, overall, we have all that bullish divergence on the daily. Any buy setup you get, we've been looking for the buy. Um, you know, we had that like one, two, three, four, five in here. So that's fine. This was quite complicated. I did show this in our group. Um, well, you know, even on last week, we were looking at a flat here for a C up. It become very deep. Um, <laughs> it, it did. It become very deep. We we got like an A, an A, B, C in here as the flat. Uh, looking at an A, B, C, it, it's actually 
you know, went further than I thought. You know, I thought it would just go up to this 100 fib and possibly get another one down, and then we get the one that goes. But, um, yeah, as... Uh, Oh, there's not much you can really. You're just scalping it if you're not in this. I mean, there was a nice buy setup in the group that I showed um, in here on the lower time frames. If you look at this in here now, you you pretty much you're looking at this here like as an A B C. Get but an A a B. And you get another one up. You are getting an impulse here on the lower time frame. So if you got a little correction in here on the lower time frames, you could look for that. Just to break the top, it's scalping, you know. And ideally, it takes off for you. But you know, still looking very corrective on the day on the H1. So yeah, you got to be careful. Not 100 percent sure it's going to go yet. There is a couple of scenarios on the lower time frame here that went over in the group, but um, you know. This is becoming very complex as well. You know, it's looking for that A, B, C up in here. It never went. Um, we've got like three down in here. Nice impulse up. So I'm looking for three up in here. H4. We, you know, any buy setup you get, you definitely can buy. You know, and I'm looking to buy this. I'm just waiting for a nice entry. But we got an A, looking for a B, and looking to trade that wave C up. You know, um, we're sort of getting a one, two, three, a four, and a five in here. Um, ideally, we do get that. You know, five down in here. There's there's a couple of scenarios. Um, I mean, all these arrows I put on yesterday. I think um, we were looking at this in the group, but. Yeah, it's really H4. I'm waiting. You know, we're still in this wave white. Um, but um, wherever this ends, if you get a buy set up, well, you can target that 38.2 as a scalp in a, into a correction, and then I'd be looking for the wave Z, and then any buy set up after that wave Z, you know, load up. You know, it could be a, a very nice trade. Um, this one did play out gold. It finally played out. We got the five up in here, up to the uh, one twenty three point six. We we didn't get up to that second target, that one sixty one point eight. But it still may yet, like you know. But on the daily, we are forming that bearish divergence. You can see on the H four what I'm looking at. I'm looking at another one up. Um, you know, away five. And you can see why I'm looking for a wave five. We have a bull hidden here. So, you know, if you get a bullish setup, you know, look for that wave five up. And I'd be targeting this daily 161.8. The H1, we're getting bullish divergence. So, again, you know, if you get a buy setup, look for the buy. Silver didn't give us that. Unfortunately, silver didn't go up and give us that wave Z. We're looking for that wave Z up in here. It never it never went, you know. If you look at this now, this was quite difficult. Um, it's more on the lower time frames. But I was showing this in the group, you know. Um, we had a flat in here. So we had like an A, B, C there. And then we got an A, B, C as your larger flat. And then you get that one, two. Well, this is term motive, three. Um, so, you know, I'm not sure that this here in here is complete yet. But you have to wait for this wave C in here or, like I said, a may term motive. So you got to be careful, um, because you got to remember on the daily we're right at the top of the market. So this definitely can turn moti, you know. And this is a large flat in here, and you get that one, two, three, four, five. May give you another large correction after the wave three. 
So, you know, what do you do now? There's been opportunities to sell, and this was the opportunity to sell. And I showed this in our group, you know, that was that was the opportunity to sell. I, I can't go into the trading system that we use to identify when we want to buy and sell. But I can assure you, it's one of the best systems out there. And you won't see this, my system, anywhere else. You just won't. Um, but uh, this was it here. So, you know, it sort of gave you one, two, three, four, five down in here, but there's no bearish, to, no bullish divergence. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get another larger correction than these over here and then more downside. So, you know, um, yeah, be careful with the buys, in my opinion, at this stage. Unfortunately, Bitcoin didn't didn't go either. Like many of the others, we didn't get that Z up. We got the one, two, three. I was looking for that wave four and that wave five up to the targets. It didn't even break the ending point of wave Y. There were buy setups in this um, for this, and I'm pretty sure I showed you, well, the last couple of weeks, actually, um, we were looking for the buys in this. Um, uh, and in our group we were too but uh you know we had a correction in here one two three an a b c if you have a look here we have a bull hidden so in our group we're looking for this wave five up to break the top um if you want all this information in advance you you know you really have to join the group because you're really not going to get much out of a weekly outlook um because you'll you'll miss a lot of the trades, of course, you know. But uh, yeah, the only thing you can do now is you know you got a nice impulse up. You got to wait for a correction, and then you can look for a buy just to go and buy that top, basically. S and P five hundred on the daily. We've only been looking for ourselves for a long time. There is a possible flat in here, an A. All oh, this is a B and a C like I've mentioned, and we get more upside. But, um, yeah, we did get a, an extended wave Z in here, so on the daily. H4, we got, uh, we got the five up, and we got an extended wave in the wave Z again. We got all that bearish divergence. It's a sell. We wait for a correction in here. And we look for another one down. So we we got five up. We want at least three down before you can start to look for buys again. Like I showed, um, you know, on the daily, this may be a flat, you know, and we get, you know, a C in here for the A, B, C in here, you know. Um, but at this stage, it's a sell. It's it's a it's a sell. Well, it was actually a sell on the lower time frames, and I'm pretty sure I just show this in the group. Uh, well, not on the group. Well, I definitely showed it in the group, but um, uh, I'm pretty sure I showed this on the weekly outlooks as well. We got all that bearish divergence. We got the nice impulse down. We were looking for this sell, um, you know, uh, and it's hit the target. It's hit the hundred fib now. There is no bullish divergence, so we may get another one down in here. Um, but this is starting to look rather corrective in here. So, you know, you get an A, an A, B, C, you get a C down in here, some sort of a flat, an A, B, C, before you get another one down. I'd be looking at some sort of a structure like that to trade on the lower time frames to get this wave down in here. And then I'd be looking for a larger correction and more downside. In saying that, you know, if you want to look at this as the flat, like I showed that larger flat and this is a C down, well, it's you can't buy it here. But, um, you know, if you get that another one down, then you can start to look for that buy. And you have to get in on the first opportunity. If you don't, the first opportunity on the lower time frames, Or else, <laughs> if you don't, if you're looking for that flat to go and break the top, um and you don't get the first opportunity, well, you, you start to get stuck because after this breaks down, you know, 
the way I teach people to trade is, you know, we'd be looking for a correction now. I'm not going to go into why that is, but um, I'd be looking for one, two, three, a larger correction in here and to trade this on the way four for three down. <laughs> it gets complicated, but um, I can't go into why we, we, we look for that. But in saying that as well, if you get another one down in here, you get the bullish divergence, you know, um, um, and a buy set up on the lower time frames. You can look to buy to go and break that top for that flat, like I mentioned. AU200. This one pretty much played out. We were looking at that AVC. It went up to that 100 fib. It's That 100 fib was quite a bit of a resistance for the price um it did eventually break up but you know we're getting that bearish divergence you're pretty much looking for this larger move down here now um there is still more you know this is still looking up bullish um Yeah, sort of got like a very choppy wave up and A, B, C in here. A, B, C, still looking rather bullish in here. I wouldn't be surprised if we actually get more upside breaking this top. Um, what I'd be looking for now is, um, you know, we have three down, got a nice impulse up, you wait for the correction and then you look to buy it's actually on the lower time frame it's actually on the m15 so i'll just quickly show you so you may get into a nice trade but we get an a we get a b you wait for this wave c down and then you get onto the lower time frames and you look for the buy setup and then you look to the buy at least an a b c you have to wait for this c down if you don't get that will you stay out of it you know or you look for another entry but yeah Uh, this one's looking really good actually for a change. <laughs> you know, it doesn't very rarely give you good setups, but like I've been mentioning for a while now, you know, this is looking still very much bullish. Um, and yeah, we got a nice impulse up. If I go down to the lower time frames. So you know, we got all this bullish divergence. This is probably one of the better ones I'd be looking to trade next week um, because we got all that bullish divergence. We got a nice impulse up. You wait for your correction back to the 30, well, back to the 50 fib or 38.2. Basically, you just want to see a correction. You want to see a correction. Um, H one's the same, you know. We got a nice impulse up. You wait for the correction, and then you look to load up to buy. And you know, you, you're looking to break this top. So yeah. Uh, the DAX, not much happening on this. Um, uh, you know. We even even on the daily, you know, we have bearish divergence. We do have a cross on the MACD there. We do have between the two tops, um, bearish divergence. But in saying that, like I've mentioned to you guys, um, we actually have a bull hidden as well. You know, that's a bull hidden as well. So at this stage, I. I'd be looking at this as a more complex correction, like uh, more complex than what it is, as just a, like, um, I'd be looking at this as an A, B, get a C up in here and then an A, B, C, some sort of a larger flat before you look for the buy. To buy in here, uh, oh man, you know, it's risky, very risky. You know, I would be looking at uh, the FTSE, you know, to trade instead of this, you know. Um, but yeah, you you could look for a buy. There's really not much of a buy on it. You can see over here we we were looking for buys, but um, it's never gone. 
Uh, yeah, I would be looking at, uh, you know, trading the... The FTSE looks a lot better. If you trade the indices, I'd be looking at uh, trading the the FTSE rather than the DAX. At this stage, it looks a lot better. But I hope you enjoyed the weekly outlook. If you did, please hit the like button, share and subscribe. Enjoy your weekend and I'll see you out there next week.